Hello everyone and welcome to Autocraft Season 5, Episode 4. Today I worked on this path to connect our starter town with the shopping district. It's not yet fully finished, we need to add some vegetation around, but at least now we can use our horse more freely through here without getting stuck on trees. And over there we have our Clockpunk Balloon starter base that we worked on the last episode. Green's horse is here and it's way faster than ours. Mine is so slow in comparison. I love you Shangara though, I will not replace you, unless you mysteriously disappear. But anyways, today we have an episode filled with stuff. And yes, that's an intentional pun because we will be dealing with a lot of things that need to be done for the stuff shop in the shopping district. But first, we have an interior to make, because right now it's a complete mess, as you can see. So let's get that quickly done. There we go, here's our interior now. The hardest part was the walls, mostly figuring out where to place them to cover all the weird things behind. We have some gears hanging on top. I tried to fit as many as I could, but the space is very limited. In the center, we have this beautiful couch with the window behind, which I absolutely love. There's another window over there, nothing super fancy. Then I moved our base replica over to the top, where I had to scale up the model so that we could see it from down here. And right underneath is our sleeping device, which is not perfect and I will show you at some point, but now I wanna go and find Krink, because there's something from this interior that I need him to see. Can I can I annoy you for a second? Sure. Come with me. Here we have a custom lever to open the gate. Ah. Ooh. This is fancy. With a blaze head. Nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you did not. You did not. You did not. That's what I wanted to show you in TV. <laughs> you really wasted a heavy core. Yes. On a lightning rod yes. for decoration. On but an armor look, stand. Look how it. No, no, it's not. It's an item frame. Well, either way. And you get. It oh, looks it like a look claw that is holding the heavy core. Ah, oh, you're right. It does look really good. And now we are going to roll a clip. Of me finding the heavy core and that. Yeah, let's yeah. do it. Oh yeah, there's a thingy up there, right, right on top. Don't block my heavy core. Heavy core. Oh, get the music disc. Yo, Ooh. let's go. Let's see what I get. Alright, Calvin, what are you getting? Mace. Oh. Yes. <laughs> that's not the mace. That's just the heavy it. core. But he got the heavy core. You know what the heavy that's core awesome. is? It's a great decorational block. Look at it. Look at it. You are not. I I I can, and I will. Oh my god. <laughs> now that we have the interior of the base kinda done, I want to take some of this stuff that we got here, because we are going to be heading toward the shopping district where we have the tough shop. Last episode we brought these guards behind. Yeah, there's a lot of traps to avoid people from going and seeing this on the back of the shop. Because it's a kind of a scam service, we, we need to figure it out. I think the only people that are going to get scammed are me and Krink that are running this shop. I don't even know how this system is going to work. But what I do know is that I need more room to put chests and where people can deposit the stuff. So we are going to carve out some sort of staircase. I'm thinking over here on this side. And we're going to open a second floor. Probably larger underneath, four blocks tall, I can take that. And then Krink is going to work on a vault underneath this, so that's going to be interesting. They come here and they go down, two, three, four. And then here we can have a wall. I have one door there and then we need to make it one block thicker. Some simple arches here are going to work and we can get this one on top. There we go, so this would be one entrance. We can have walls here instead of blocks. So yeah, I think I have a plan. I will be doing this interior and I will come back to you once that is done. And zoo. We have interior done now. As you can see, if we go down the stairs from the top shop, here we have the three different tiers for the people that subscribe. And I don't know, I just wanted to make this very cozy vibe so that people that signs up don't feel intimidated at all inside here. Very welcoming to every new customer of the stuff shop. Shangala, come with me. 
we are going to go bother um, who is signed up what can i do for you <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were just gonna hand me a chicken and leave. No, no, no. I'm not that kind of person yet. Um, what? Well, I'm mm. here to walk you through the next steps. Have you read the terms of service? Uh no, I haven't read anything. Do you I want just signed to... up without looking at anything because I'm smart? Makes sense. That's that's what mm -hmm. that's what we expect from our customers. There are three different tiers. All right. I have a question already. Yes. We love questions. So, all right, all right, okay. So, if you think, if if I think about this logically, I give you four stacks per month, and then you give me eight, like for the super simple one, right? Like, the, the, like yes. not the super simple, but I mean, like the first one. Even um, less, three. You give us three. Okay. And you can okay. get up three, to and you eight. give me six. Oh, you can get up to eight. Oh, okay. So three, and you get up to eight. Yes. All right. Cool. Where are you getting the other stacks? There is a wait time. I will tell you this. So that still doesn't fully answer. Yeah, there's a wait time, but how are you getting the other stacks of time? Oh, you don't have to worry about that. Um, That's what we do. In simple stuff. It's the service so, we provide. So, 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 so does that mean you guys are just constantly losing? Hey, you are not here to criticize our service. In my half many loopholes... <laughs> I know it's, it's it's not a flawless system, but you're the one that made it. Oh, that man, that's so I so know. nice hearing from the person who made it. No, I didn't make it. No, no, no. I'm I'm just a, a humble servant. Maybe Green knows. I don't know. I am okay. All right, I'm still listening. Oh no, it's, you just need to choose. Pick one. I'm sure you will lose. I will lose something. Oh, if you don't want to choose your tier, that is fine. But I must uh, remind I must remind you that we have your legal name here on a piece of paper. Yeah, a, a legal name that is just on a piece of paper. Yes. It's not like it's a contract, it's just a random piece of paper. Oh no, it's a very important paper. It gives us permission to annoy you. Uh-huh. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, wait, uh, wait, uh wait, how wait, about wait, 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 wait. Yes. That's part of the being annoying. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, how about so simple tough? Okay. Put that one. I might need you to grab that book. The book. And write your name. Okay. No, I'm, I'm trusting you here, Calvin. So, so really quickly, what happens if you don't pay? Doop, 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 doop. Calvin, I don't think a, a service is supposed to scare its its uh its users. Oh, this is not a scary part. This is a scary part. Come with me now that you have signed up and chosen your tier. Welcome to... Why does this look like a cult? It's not. Yeah, no, don't be scared. Okay, so this is the tier you selected. Please go in. I don't have tough on me. It's okay. This is just to show you. You just need to choose one of these barrels. And whenever you want to begin with the service, you just need to deposit the amount of tough here in one of those barrels with a note that says your name and the date that you are depositing that. If I requested, would I, would I be allowed to change my tier? You are allowed to change and you are allowed to cancel the subscription at any time. But all that is written in the terms of service. I have a feeling I should read the terms of service. That's, However, will I? Absolutely not. That's, that's the spirit. And if you don't have tough, you don't need to worry because you can buy it from us. So there, so there is, there is just an actual tough shop. Okay. Oh yes. All right. And th that looks like the most fair price. In fact, I think, I think it's too good of a deal. You might want to bring that up a little bit. Sounds good. Okay. Thank oh. you for subscribing. All right. If you have any of questions, course. please, please so feel free to contact Krink at any time. Now that that's done, I'm over here collecting some sand and sandstone because what I want to show you now is this small building trick that we will be using to create a bunch of trees for an autumn landscape. I'm thinking of building this over there behind our base. We need to do some terraforming here, but the reason why I want to do it over here mostly is to cover the ice spikes on the back. That might be, in my opinion, one of the worst looking biomes in the overworld, but we'll make sure to fix the view. So let's get to the building trick. 
When connecting walls vertically in survival, we have a few options. We can do this, but it will look weird, right? Because we have those hard shams every time we move to the side. So another option is to have the same thing, but breaking that block. Now they will be disconnected, which is what we did for the red tree before, although we can't see it from here. But even disconnected, this will preserve the diagonal shape better than the previous one. What we will do, though, is to connect this using glass panes, there and there. This, especially from a distance, if you choose your glass color correctly, it will be hardly noticeable. Or you can use a specific color to softly change the tint of the build. Like in this case where I'm using yellow, and we'll talk a bit more about that later on. But in general, this is a great way of connecting walls to create vertical diagonals. I must say though, it's not my original idea, I saw this done by Shermsy Boy, so credits to him for showing it in his videos. We will be taking this building trick and that color palette to create tall, thin trees. I want the trees to create some sort of natural tunnel that we can walk through and feel very immersed into a magical autumn landscape. The way we will be doing the branches is like this, starting with longer segments at the bottom, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, then we connect with the glass panes and go up, but this time let's say 4 blocks, then repeat, maybe 4 again, now 3 a few times, and you continue with this idea of reducing the amount until the top bit where we will be using slabs to get a softer end to the curve. This is sort of the idea. It looks a bit funky from up close, and it needs some polishing, like here for instance we could bring the glass panes further down in the long ones, just like that, that will make it look smoother. But yeah, that is the technique that we will be using for the trees. So now, let's get some trees done. Alright, so we have a few more trees done now, and I think we can start to see what I was talking about when I was saying about the arches and how I wanted this to feel. I think I need, I want to do two more trees, one more pair of trees in the background, but now before placing the leaves, the rest of the trees that we need and the terraforming, green actually wants to meet us because, uh, I don't know, I don't know why he wants to meet us. I guess there might be something important for us over there. So let's go, but actually, before going, yeah, that is going to look nice from a distance. I did come back and put some more vegetation and lining on the path. It's not finished, but at least it doesn't feel so barren as the beginning. I'm slowly working on this. Ooh, we have more shops now. Ring. Do I need to go in? I saw you around here. Where are you? Hello there. Ah, so. Um, I see we have both done a little bit of work in this area. Oh, we did. I didn't show you this. You have not. I haven't really gone down here yet because I was kind of waiting until you can kind of show me. Okay. Oh, now. Okay, let's go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right now. <laughs> Here's where people that sign up on the different tiers are going to leave their tough. And then over here, we have the stuff tough for sale. This is where we sell any stuff that belongs to the stuff shop and it's not overpriced um, no. no 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 i think it's good this was five diamonds per stack and we raised it to seven because auto authority was too cheap so yeah oh yeah oh yeah auto really does know the right prices in the shopping district so mm -hmm. i i think i think that was a good uh good uh, shot yeah so i'm taking i, I think i'm kind of following the basic rule of of marketing whenever someone complains about the price i just raise it up that's fair yeah yep. i mean makes sense mm -hmm. that's it no. there's nothing more i have done something okay i'm intrigued you just you just follow me this way i'll follow you this way okay you just had to go out the other door didn't you yes we have to do that 
All right, so I'm gonna you stand like stand like right here, right here. Yeah. All right. Now I'm going to do this. Just walk towards me. Attention shoppers! <sighs> you can now select your subscription level inside of the stuff shop. Don't worry if you have not signed up yet as you can still do so. In addition, there is also the brand new add-on called Turbo Tough, where you can get all your tough at once. Come on down to the stuff shop and select your subscription level today. I know you can't see me, but I'm smiling so hard <laughs> right now. I like I love it. I love it. That's amazing. <laughs> I mean, an advertisement. Advertisement. Oh, I have ideas for advertisement. <laughs> Um, but I know if we can discuss these ideas on camera. Maybe we can discuss Probably. them now and show them later on. Here's what we are going to do. And I think you're going to like this. Attention! Oh, it's on cooldown. Hey. Attention shoppers! <laughs> you can now uh, select your subscription level in The fact that it starts with attention shoppers, that's amazing. <laughs> Thank you for doing the advertisement. We'll keep talking because we have more business to do. Yes, ignore the fact that my cape changed color. Uh, and I forgot my horse. So here's the thing. You, you just you and your little horsey horsey. Me? I can just, you know. Like? You got this. <laughs> Got us. You go. mean that I can kidnap your horse that is faster and champs higher than Shangala? No, no, no. Bull is bull is mine. All right. After we've met up with Krink, we actually went wither fighting because we both needed a beacon for our projects. So let me actually save mine for now inside my ender chest. I will be using mine later on to tear down this mountain that is annoying me because it's ruining the view. More than tearing it down, actually, I will be slowly profiling it like pushing it back into that direction which i have already started doing because i needed the materials for the next part of this autumn landscape project so here i've collected some materials to use for the terraforming we will be creating some muddy paths shadows under the trees fallen leaves and boulders around to make this area really come to life and also i don't know if you noticed but i added two more trees on the back of camera so now we have eight in total but now, let's get this terraforming done. I have to tear down this ice spike, it just looks so ugly on the background. At least this one that is the largest one, the other ones can stay for now. There we go, so much better without that. And now let's talk a little bit about the build. This might be my favorite build that I've done so far. It's not about the build itself, which by the way has many imperfections and details missing that I would include. I guess it's my favorite because it conveys some sort of feeling within me when I walk through this or when I look at it. It's hard to explain, but when I look at this or when I walk under the trees, I get a mix of adventure and serenity or calmness at the same time. Unless I didn't sleep at night and there are some creepers raining above me because I didn't spawn proof any of this. So that's a danger that I need to take care of off camera. Now, I don't know if you can notice, but what I did for the leaves is I used mostly yellow glazed terracotta as the brightest color and then I used a mix of yellow wool and raw gold blocks to make some sort of shadows in the bottom part and to symbolize decaying leaves over there. To be honest, I really like how the raw gold block looks as leaves but they are a pain to mine. This little amount that I used 
is almost two stacks and it took me like three hours to get them so i will be adding more as i get them in the future but for now this will have to do and another thing that i tried to do i don't know if you can notice is to pay attention in the placement of the leaves not only in the shape which yes i did pay attention in the shaping of the leaves itself to make it look nice but also in where i uh, where i added holes and where i added like a full canopy covered up so um, sort to of make these kind of patterns of shadows and lights in the path that i think make it look way more realistic especially when you walk underneath i think those patterns of shadow and light make it way immersive and one last thing in terms of the building technique you know how in creative we can paint with biomes well of course sadly that's not something that we can do here in survival but what we can do is this very simple trick using grass and ferns especially in this biome the grass and the ferns have a very similar color but the ferns are a little bit darker so i just put the ferns surrounding my grass so from a distance it looks like a shadow like a shadowed grass behind them it's a very subtle effect but i think it really helps a lot to add some depth to these grass patches that we have over here but yeah that's all for this build I i'm really happy with it i i want to like even extend it further probably all around here maybe in the future we'll add more trees around here without interrupting the the arch pathway and that's going to be all for today let me know what you think of this landscape in the comments below this has been calvin and i will see you in the next one goodbye